Did you shoot the big 40? Or did you go somewhere else and shoot? That and more coming up. Welcome everybody to another edition of George Archery's Week in Review. I'm your host, Big John Chandler. And this is where we talk about, well, you know this field, I've said it a thousand times. Anything to do with archery in the state of Georgia and Georgia archers, wherever they may shoot. Well, what happened this past weekend? Well, we had lots of things going on. Well, we had some Georgians travel out to Paris, Texas to shoot the ASA um, national event. And by the end of the weekend, we have some Georgians on top. Congratulations, guys, everybody who traveled out there. I'm glad you got back safe. The weather wasn't quite that good on the way back. Also for the weekend, Davy Mountain Archery had about 44 shooters. And River Bottom Outdoors had their big 40 event. They ended up with about 135 shooters. And it was a great weekend. I went out and uh, hung out with the guys on Saturday night. Um, what happens at RVO at night stays at RVO at night. And uh, the next morning went out and shot with some great friends and uh, we had a good time. Well on Saturday, Gainesville Archery Club had a 900 round for you uh, paper shooters. Ended up with about 35 shooters and had a good time. Well on Sunday, Banks County had about 64 shooters up there in the North Georgia circuit. And North 40 Archery had about 40 shooters. Be sure to subscribe to YouTube Follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and find all of it on our webpage. Well, what's going on this weekend? Um, well, a lot of the big names that we follow in archery will be out in Redding, California to shoot the trail shoot. They're going to go shoot Bigfoot. Also this weekend, the GBAA has their spring turkey shoot. Uh, shotguns start in the morning and the afternoon, both days. You have to shoot the unknown first. And um, it's going to be a good event. I hope they have a good turnout. Well, Saturday, we will have kids from all over the state venturing to my neck of the woods, Rock Eagle, to shoot the 4-H outdoor event. I didn't do a full count, but it's somewhere between seven and 900. A lot of kids, um, a lot of good poten potential champions in that group, and um, I tell you, they're going to have a blast. It looks like the weather's going to be decent. Last year it flooded like a, a freight train, so uh, good luck to everybody who's going to uh, Rock Eagle to shoot this weekend. Well, after you've done with that, or if you didn't go to that, you can, uh, for your paper shooters, a 900 round, the GAA is having their 900. Tonight the lights came on. It's like their seventh annual. They've been doing this a long time now. And uh, it's always a great event. So uh, go out there and swing some arrows with them. Well, if you're on the 3D and you want to do some 3D shooting, uh, there will be a coon shoot out at uh, Redneck Archery Club. They're going to camp out that night and um, shoot the next day too. But coon shoot on Saturday night if you want to shoot some 3D on Saturday night. Like I mentioned before, Redneck Archery Club will be shooting on Sunday for their regular shoot. Centennial River Archery Club will be doing their thing down there in South Georgia. And Amicalola has canceled their dates. So they will reschedule that date. I know it was the fourth leg of the shoot of the year, but I don't know what happened. But they had to cancel, so they're going to um, reschedule it as soon as possible. Well, that's about it for this week. Take someone, teach them how to shoot a bow. It will last them a lifetime. Until next time, I'm Big John. We'll see you.